Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at some new cards which come out of Yu-Gi-Oh Rush Jewels and these come from a secret ace pack for 2022 called Volume 1. First card is Transamu Rainak. It's a brand new galaxy card and it's a light attribute. This is the main card being used by one of the main characters. He's kind of the alien amongst them. He's a level 4 with 1600 attack and 0 defense. Overall it's just a slightly bigger version of a level 4 monster and it shows a significant kind of commitment for Konami to start stepping up the power of these monsters. Steel Tech Deity Mirror Innovator is a light attribute machine type level 7 with 2400 attack and 1800 defense. It has no requirements and its effect is choose up to three monsters in your graveyard with the same type as this card. This card gains 100 attack times the combined total levels of the chosen monsters until the end of the turn. Then shuffle the chosen monsters into the deck. If you returned only one monster with this effect, during this turn this card's attack pierces. The purpose of this card is it actually can become very strong. If you can choose three machine monsters that happen to be level 10s, this becomes a 5400 attack monster. It then is able to wipe out your opponent's monsters through battle and hopefully finish off your opponent in that turn. The other concern though is you have to shuffle those monsters into the deck. It happens to be if you choose only one monster you get the reward of being able to pierce over your opponent's monsters if they're in defense mode. I'd argue this is only relevant if you don't have any other monsters on your field and your opponent's monsters happen to all be in defense mode. Better to get some type of effect off considering that I think it's probably quite limited to when you can activate this effect and you'd rather use it as you can and to surprise your opponent than to let your opponent set up against this card. Phantom Strike Dragon Mirror Gears is a dark attribute dragon type level 7 with 2500 attack and 1500 defense. The requirement you can send one monster that's a level 7 or higher dragon from your hand to the graveyard and the effect is to choose up to two face-up monsters that are level 7 or lower your opponent controls. They lose 1500 attack until the end of this turn. This turn this card can make a second attack on a monster during a battle phase. It destroyed a monster by battle. This is actually very good in terms of you're able to shut down a lot of your opponent's monsters unless they have 4000 or more attack points then they're not going to weather this effect very well. This card once destroying over one monster can then go after the second so you can essentially wipe out your opponent's field before they can respond. The requirement does cost you a level 7 or higher dragon type from your hand but if you're not needing it for the time being it's well worth the price to use this effect. Royal Rebels Doom Metal is a light attribute fiend type level 8 with 2500 attack and 2000 defense. The requirement during the turn you normal summon this card by attributing two level 7 or higher fiend type monsters. The effect is to destroy all face up monsters on your opponent's field then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total original levels of the monsters destroyed by this effect times 100. The summoning requirement to activate this effect is just a lot of investment. To normally get out a level 7 monster requires 2 tributes. To get out 2 that's 4 and to get out 8 this level 8 monster <laughs> then to have to tribute is another 2 tributes. That's 6 tributes altogether and considering the 2 level 7 monsters have to be fiend type monsters that's also a very specific requirement. It does have the benefit of wiping out all face up monsters monsters on your opponent's field. I wish it had targeted all monsters on your opponent's field, not just the face up ones because that way it would justify at least some of the cost to it. And then you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined levels times 100. So the higher the levels of your opponent's monsters, the more damage you can do. Think of it this way, if they've got three level 10 monsters, that's that's an additional 3000 points of damage that you're doing before this card even attacks. My biggest concern is it's just such a glass cannon. It has no form of protection. If your opponent after this card is summoned can then activate a trap card to get rid of this, it's as good as game over. And the final card is Constructor Worm Bill Dragon. This is an earth attribute worm type effect monster. It's level 8 with 2500 attack and 2000 defense. The requirement is a face up field spell card is on the field and the effect is to special summon up one worm type non monster from your graveyard face up to your field. It's an okay effect because you're able to call of the haunted one of your monsters. It has to be a worm type normal monster. That's the only downside. It has to be very specific and you do need a field spell card in order to activate this effect. Overall I don't think that's necessarily that bad but it's nothing that impressive and 2500 for a level 8 for this effect it's easily going to be beaten over. Overall most of these cards are a bit underwhelming. I would say my favourite two are probably this Miragius that's got the reduction effect and the Mirror Innovator which has the boosting effect. Both of those I can see is quite useful. The other three I think are quite forgettable. 
successful. Overall, I think it's fine, but I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section down below. And make sure to check out the end screen for another video. I'd love for you to support the channel.